Hey everyone, it's Michael. I'm a local Singaporean and I grew up here at West Coast. I've been living here for 27 years and lately I've been seeing reviews on the popular food centers in Singapore such as the Maxwell Food Center etc. Old Airport Road. But you know, sometimes there are hidden gems in the less popular food courts, food centers, sorry. So let me give you a short tour. So this is the West Coast Market Square located at Clementi West Street 2. I'll give you a tour on the various stores and my recommendations. It's quite a, sh I don't know, small. I mean, there's only like 50 stores and not all of them are open all the time. Let me bring you from right to left. This is taken on a Sunday afternoon. Not many people, but usually they serve the community here. Okay, so first off, this is the Indian Muslim food. I think they won some awards or something, and they usually open quite late until like 10 or 11. They sell like prata, you know, me going and stuff. Then you have uh, two Muslim stores, <coughs> Malay food, pretty decent, but they usually open until, I don't know, afternoon. Cold drink store. Okay, this is a recommendation. It, they sell carrot cake in the daytime and it's pretty popular. Like, you know, they open at about 6.30 or 7, but there's already a long queue before that. And they usually sell like before 10. And at night, it converts to a barbecue chicken wing store. Pretty cheap and decent. You should try this out. <coughs> Here you've got a wonton meat store. I think the local people know that this auntie has been here for more than a decade. And we got chicken rice store. Fish porridge, pretty new. I also recommend this uh, fish ball noodle store. I think it won some 5 star rating a decade ago. The owner here, I think he specializes in his chili and fish one ton. <coughs> and sometimes they sell at like in the evening, so you better come early. You've got the Ta Tai Peng store. So, drink stall, um, oyster omelette, got fruit juice, Hokkien Mi, fried kway tel. This store sells barbecue stuff at night. Um, I don't know what this new store would be. It used to be a drink store, I think. And got the Yong Tao Fu. Noodles like yu mian, pan mian, kakomi, vegetarian food. <coughs> you can get your bean curd. Bean curd, uh, yo tiao over here. They got a lor mee store. This fishball noodle always closes at like 10 in the morning, and there's a huge crowd. You can't get it in the afternoon. <coughs> got laksa, another vegetarian. Another bottom is store. Got another, I think, Indian food. I um, haven't tried this, so I can't comment on them. 
Got porridge. Then your morning, your morning type of bihun. This dark rice store is decent and pretty cheap. Three dollars, you can get an award-winning dark rice. Now the fruit store. Drinks. Yong Tao Fu Bean Curd. Yeah, let me bring you to the other side. We are more than halfway done, so bear with me for a while. <coughs> Here you got the baku tei, then uh, Western food. This chicken rice, I highly recommend it. It's broth, is special. They don't sell roasted chicken, but just steamed and I think the yoti soy sauce chicken. <coughs> Another decent duck rice. This law may opens until like noon only. Curry rice, they open until quite late, so you can have uh, supper. Two noodle stalls. Then you got your Zha Cai Peng Another chicken rice And this fish Porridge fish soup store I recommend you getting it Sometimes they are slightly pricey like 5 over dollars But the owner here has been doing it for decades so Yeah, they are pretty decent <coughs> Then you got the Tiong Baru fried fish ball Pretty cheap like can get I don't know, quite a lot of fish balls for a couple of bucks. <coughs> and porridge, they open until quite late as well. So that's it. So if you are coming here and you don't know what to eat, I will recommend the duck rice and the fish the batomi with the fish wonton stall or the the chicken rice with without the roasted chicken rice yeah please help to like and share this video and thumbs up and comment if i don't know comment if you have other thoughts and you want to share some other gems hidden in the west thank you for watching this video